Man, after a long day at the mines, all I want to do is relax, put my feet up, and listen to my favorite tunes. Ah, wait a second. Uh oh. My diamonds! Hey, my name's Drackle, and that was my exploding jukebox bomb. Quite cool. Now, one note, or rather two notes before we begin. Uh, in s multiplayer, you will not be able to hear the hiss of the TNT, so it makes it a very uh, hidden trap. You have no warning that it's going off. And also, there's uh, some other things that can activate it besides using a jukebox. You can use cake, fence gates, uh, furnaces, doors, grass growth or death, uh, wheat growth, sugarcane growth, um, and of course, placing or destroying a block. Among other things, those are a small list of uh, what will activate this, at least the more practical ones. Now, how does this work in general? Well, this is similar to the uh, the bud switches that you've seen, or if you haven't seen them, uh, it's something that Etho came up with a while back. It's a block update detector. Uh, this piston is able to detect any block update above it, below it, or to any of its sides, so those six blocks. And once it detects that block update, it uh, pushes this uh, block down uh, onto here, and then completes the circuit, and boom. So that's how that works. Now, what's a block update? Well, for instance, putting a uh, record into a jukebox updates that block and then sets uh, this piston off and the whole trap goes boom. Similarly, opening or closing a door, uh, eating a piece of cake, or destroying a block. It causes block updates, obviously. So I'm gonna show you how to build this thing. It's actually uh, quite simple. The only downside is you need to have this lever on the back here. What actually happens uh, is this will arm it, and now any block update near the piston will cause this to go off, so let's put a record in the jukebox. As you can see, that uh, sent the piston down, and then we'll complete the circuit, and boom. So that's how you do it, and uh, how do you build it? Well, we'll start off with this. This is uh, the wall, basically, and this is the, uh, the lever that arms or disarms the trap. And I think for this demonstration, we're going to use um, I think we're going to use a furnace. Okay, so we're going to put it there. We put the piston uh, below right here. And oh, crap. Put the piston like that. Okay. Now this uh, lever has to be one at least one block blo one block above and one block behind. You could also do it two blocks above, but that would kind of <laughs> kind of ruin the trap because it'd be right above. But uh, anyway, so this is the best way to do it. So it's uh, one block up, one block over. And now we have a block on the end of the sticky piston, of course. And below that, we're going to put a repeater here and a repeater here. Okay. Now you can use a redstone torch or just a lever here to do that. Okay. And when this block comes down, this repeater will send power through the block to that repeater. And this repeater will set off a whole bunch of TNT. So you can wire it up to whatever you want. Put the TNT over here and boom. Very, very simple. And uh, that's uh, more or less it. It's now uh, ready to go. All we have to do is arm it. And it's uh, ready. So let's cook something. Um, got some wood right here and we're gonna put the wood in here as you can see as soon as the furnace updates it completes the circuit and if there were TNT um, attached to there everyone would be dead <laughs> alright so that's more or less the uh, the jukebox uh, bomb very easy to do and now uh, see it in action one more time before we sign off I guess ah crap that's another problem if um, that lever is in the wrong position. You'll have the piston fire. Okay. Now we need a block. You can use wool. No reason not to. Okay. And we're going to connect this up. And trap is now armed. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope I try to make it quick and easy. And uh, this trap is quite a bit of fun. And I will see you guys next time.
Boom. Huh. 